Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name is Chris, and today we're going to be doing another point to multi point test through the forest. However, this time we're going to be using 2.4 gigahertz. Now, if you guys remember my 900 megahertz through the forest no line of sight video, I'll put a link to that down below or on the screen here somewhere. It had no problem shooting through my forest. But of course, as you go up in spectrum from 900 megahertz to 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz, your speed increases, but the ability to penetrate obstacles decreases. So this is sort of the midpoint in the you know, consumer range of wireless. This is 2.4 gigahertz. We're gonna try to get this signal through the trees, through the forest, and we're gonna try to pick it up in a few different spots just to kind of see how far we can go. So what equipment am I working with today. This is the Ubiquiti Rocket 2AC Prism or the Rocket AC Prism 2.4 gigahertz version. The model number is R2AC-Prism. This unit features a gigabit ethernet port. It has a separate management radio. It has GPS sync uh, which we're actually not using for the purposes of this video, but if you had multiple of these units, for instance, on a tower, you know, pointed with, uh, you know, sector antennas pointed in different directions, the GPS sync really helps keep everything sort of separated. And this unit retails for $192 on Amazon. Connected to the Rocket 2AC Prism, we have the Air Max 2x2 omnidirectional antenna. This is the model number AMO2G10. This is the 10 dBi version omnidirectional antenna for the 2.4 gigahertz band. And this is the smaller of the two omnidirectional antennas that they have. They have a 13 dBi omnidirectional antenna as well that's about 30% larger than this one. This one's already pretty big. So for you know deployments of just within the you know a few miles, this one's going to be fine. But if you're going to be going longer than that, if you want to hit like 10 miles or more, you're going to want the larger omnidirectional antenna. Or even better, you're actually going to want a sector antenna perhaps multiple uh, prism units with sectors pointed in different directions. But for our purposes, this is going to work really well. And this unit retails for about 150 bucks on Amazon. So you're looking at about $350 for this entire access point setup. Okay, so out here, let's take a look at what we're working with for this first test here. Uh, so we've got the Nano Station M2 up top. This is model number NSM2. Uh, that is pointed through about 200 feet of forest over to the access point. Now, cable comes down here. We've got it plugged into a PoE injector, which is powered by my Jackery power bar right there. And then, of course, the other side of the PoE injector is going into my laptop. All right, so let's go ahead and run some tests and see what kind of speeds we're getting. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're seeing on the screen here. In the nano station, I've got a minus 48 dBm signal strength, which is absolutely perfect. We love that. Uh, the horizontal vertical is very close. We've got a minus 53 and minus 54, it looks like. And it looks like we're getting full speed. So 300 megabits by 300 megabits uh, transmit receive rate uh, with a 95% air max quality. So again, 200 feet through the forest at 2.4 uh, gigahertz. It's looking really, really good. Let's run a speed test. All right, so there we go. Fast.com speed test has me at 70 megabits per second. That's perfect. I mean, if I was trying to do Netflix or something like that, 70 megabits is more than enough. Now, last time I did a video like this, you guys all complained that I didn't do an iPerf test. Uh, I was doing an internet speed test, but not a you know land speed test. So we're also gonna do an iPerf test in this video. And let's go ahead and run it now. And there we can see with the iPerf speed test, we got 61 megabits per second. All right, so that is really, really good. But this is an easy test. This is only 200 feet from the station over to the access point. So what I want to do is a tougher test. Now I'm going to leave the access point where it is, but I'm going to go to a different spot about a quarter mile away through houses, through forests, basically down my entire street and see if we can't get a signal uh, in a much tougher location. All right, so now I'm about a quarter mile away and I have the nano station up on this pole and I'm shooting through houses and forests and everything and I'm getting no signal whatsoever. So it's not connecting at all. This is a little bit too much. Plus, there's a ton of other wireless interference. I'm literally shooting this through a residential neighborhood. So everyone with all of their different access points are showing up on this list here. Uh, here we can see the interface. If I go to wireless, and then click on select, 
I mean, just look at all of these other networks. So I don't know if it's not connecting because it's too far away and there's too many obstacles, or if it's not connecting because of all of this uh, different access point interference. So we're gonna try moving to one other location to see if we can get a strong signal and uh, we'll try it again. All right, so we brought it to a different location. I'm on a logging road basically out in the middle of the forest here and probably also about a quarter mile to my property uh, through the trees this way and we are still not getting any signal whatsoever. So it looks like the limitations of 2.4 gigahertz are that it can go a little ways through the trees but it doesn't have a whole ton of penetration. Like I said, if you're beyond a quarter mile and you're trying to get a signal through some pretty, you know, dense obstacles, it's just not gonna happen. Okay, so there you have it. We have 2.4 gigahertz going, you know, very short distances through the trees. Seems to be okay. I was getting a pretty strong signal, but much further than that, and we got no signal whatsoever. Now, was that due to the interference of other 2.4 gigahertz? access points in between these two locations, you know, the nano station and the access point. Was it because of the line of sight? Was it a combination of those things? I'm sure it's one of those things. And if you're going to be planning a deployment like this, of course, line of sight is the most important thing you could possibly do. Now, had I have this antenna, the omnidirectional antenna up on top of my house or just on a tower or summit, you know, much higher location, I probably could have gotten a lot better results. But of course, I'm not going to climb up on my roof to, you know, test this thing out. So this is the best results that I could get. But had it been a lot higher, I imagine that the results may have been a little bit better. Again, the higher you can get it, you're actually clearing a lot of that line of sight because since you're down at ground level, any, you know, tree or bush that's, you know, six to 10 feet is going to be blocking out the signal but if you're 30 feet up in the air you're going to bypass a lot of that by going over the top of it and again you might have much better results that way so there you have it now this is not a scientific test by any means whatsoever this is just a test out here in my yard and these are the results that i got so let me know your comments down below i'd be curious to hear them if you have any questions about this setup i'd also be happy to answer those down in the comments below if you're looking to purchase any of this equipment i also have links to everything down in the description okay hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.